Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis, guys. It's Wednesday. What's really happening? Uh, nothing much, uh, but yesterday we did have uh, retail sales from the US. Guess what? Everything, it was uh, better than expected. Uh, we were uh, on the estimates. Uh, they were expecting to see uh, the lower numbers like uh, just look at the retail sales a month over month it was negative three or they were expecting negative 0 0.3 but the number just came a little bit bigger than that 0, 0.0 and on the core retail sales they were estimating 0 0.1 came out to be 0 0.4 which means it's a little bit bigger or higher than expected so we were expecting to see the dollar getting stronger but that did not really happen yesterday and it seems like that will be happening today or already it's happening you see so if you are new to this channel don't forget to smash the subscribe button like share with your friends guys like share uh, with your friends guys uh, for those who want some discount let me know we have some discounted uh, price here so but just scan the qr code just to talk to me there we can just uh, talk about it so now let's go straight to our analysis let's go straight to our analysis what's really happening we are on dollar index what's really happening on a dollar index or before we continue let me show you how we send the signal yesterday we did have a, a good uh, signals also also this one it's today's signal you can see it's euro jpy i'm expecting to see a reversal here going further or going up uh, you can also see the numbers there. Let's go. Let's go. And we did eat very nice on on US 30. Uh, we had a US 30 trade and also gold. So you can see US 30 here. I will be showing you uh, the actual analysis. But yeah, we did smash that. Or they did smash that in the group because I did not really take that as I was waiting for Nasdaq. Yeah, that's the problem of not trading everything. But at the end of the day, uh, you are safe, right? So now we are on dollar index. We will be starting with the dollar index. What's really happening? What's really happening? We can easily see that dollar index, guys. The, yesterday, the market was around this level. And the market did not really go anywhere. The market was around this area. But it was not really selling. It seems like today the market is now trying to sell. But the question is, as we are on this nice support area, will the market break out of that structure? It's possible. It's possible. Uh, it's possible that the market can break out of that structure. Sorry, I think I'm confusing this. Yesterday, the numbers were positive. We're expecting to see aggressive push, but that did not really happen. The numbers on the retail sales, they were not really a uh, negative. So which means we were expecting to see aggressive push to the upset, but the market did not really do that. So now the market did reverse a little bit. Already the market was around that level. We have this horizontal uh, support there or this diagonal area. They all meet around that the, the same level. So I'm expecting to see a nice reversal. But anything can happen. We might see a, a nice a breakout. If that happens, that will be good. Uh, that will show us that, you know what, uh, maybe the dollar is losing some momentum, especially against other pairs. But with the way I, the way I see it, it seems like this area is very strong. I don't see it breaking. But the best time is going to be when the market opens. It's where we're going to see some proper moves whether going up or down, or maybe the market will just consolidate around uh, these levels. But this shows us that, yes, uh, the dollar lost some momentum a little bit, but we are on the support. So the question is, are we going up or down? So that will be up to the market, and we have to wait for the market. So yesterday, I don't know what happened. Yesterday, I missed GBP. I miss GBP. Maybe once I click my tab, my tablet here, maybe skipped very quick and unfortunately, and I did not really realize that. I realized it after I saw the command, and when I check, indeed, I think I did not really uh, do that. So now we are on Euro USD. What's really happening on Euro USD? I think we are still on a very nice structure. Uh, the market seems to be trying to break our resistance area. 
but uh, we can't just rush and say it's broken out but if it breaks that will be fine because we'll be looking for a different trend so this is the trend that we have at the moment i think it's quite clear uh, on this uh, daily time frame you can see that the market was going down here going up down and where we are now is on this level of a resistance so the question is will the market break out here we expecting the market to do that i thought maybe yesterday since we had positive retail sales i thought maybe the market was going to go even lower but it seems like the market doesn't really uh think like that so but we'll just have to wait and see is the market trying to break out if it tries to break out it means we will have a nice buy above uh, that we will have a nice buy above that resistant area and we're just going to uh, leave it like that because uh, i think the market will end up uh, continuing like that as the market breaks out we expect to see a continuation of the uptrend you see this is a downtrend we expect a similar move going even higher simple as that you see so that's what we have at the moment let's see if maybe we're gonna skip yeah let's see gbp or gbp is here okay 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 now we are on euro usd what's happening on euro usd it seems like the dollar it's selling the dollar it's melting on all uh, uh this uh this code or oh, sorry this pass we saw on euro usd we saw dxy on the support area so now we are on USDJPY and this is a daily time frame. Yesterday we did have a nice buy pending order, expecting to see the market going up as we were on a support area. But it seems like that is not really what the market wants. And if we can go closer, let's just change this to four hours time frame. You will see that no, the market doesn't really want to go to the upside. And the overall structure actually it's a very nice uptrend. The market is on a very nice or oh, let's say it was on a very nice uptrend yesterday we had some trades i think around this level then now the market is breaking i don't know if maybe the market triggered that but i think yeah and if maybe that was triggered it means we out of that trade as the market is breaking out so once the market breaks out or oh, let's say maybe you a jpy it's getting stronger i'll have to check that so it means we'll be changing the trend and now will be going even lower but at the moment we can just jump on the market let's wait and see what will happen after this breakout because there is a chance that the market can even reverse but the bigger picture here we are coming from a downtrend structure sorry on an uptrend structure now it seems like the market is changing that so that it's something that we need to check so um what's happening on usd uh, on gbp usd but i think i did check that maybe i did not because on the comment section someone said kenzo you missed gbp usd uh anyways it's fine so on gbp usd uh, we can easily see that the market is actually coming uh, from this nice downtrend structure the market has been actually going down and after the breakout after the breakout I'm expecting to see the market doing what? To see the market pushing to the upside. We had something like that as a very nice uptrend. And I was expecting to see a continuation of that. Guess what? The market did reverse. And once the market reversed out of that, now look what's happening. Just look what's happening. And now the market is now going higher. We saw we had a CPI uh, from GBP, which was positive. Maybe this is the reason why we see uh gbp going up so we can see that the dollar is losing some momentum so it means maybe later on we will see some uh, a continuation of that uh, bullish move so uh, we've been actually expecting this type of a move but the market reversed so now we will have to make sure that everything uh, actually uh, confirms with our strategies before we look for a nice buy or something like that because now we are going to go aggressive on that buy you see so now let's push to the next one which is uh gold yeah we still uh, or we can i can say we did smash gold yesterday i did try to place the notification here but it did not really touch that so i will just place it a little bit further so what we have here is 
we had this a, a nice arranging structure for quite some time uh, we had this arranging structure and from this arranging structure as I, i've been repeating that we are actually on a very nice uptrend but now the market is just ranging and if the market breaks out here we will be ready to do what to continue going even higher do you see that so we will be continuing to go uh, to look for those bullish moves and we did and yes we are on a smaller profit unfortunately i was already in uh other trades i did not really take that but yes i'm not gonna miss that every day but my people did smash this as i showed you in the uh, what uh, i sent in the group so at the moment i'm just waiting to see if maybe the market will be reaching our halfway uh, towards tp then we can log that i think the market was already there so i'm ex still expecting to see a very nice push but what i know is the market won't just go straight up just look at this the market is just moving quite straight uh, or really aggressive so there is a chance that the market can reverse so be extra you should be extra careful so i'm expecting to see another push to the upside but a reversal can also happen around that yes i'm actually bullish on uh, uh gold i'm actually bullish the one that we actually smashed very nice it was a uh, us 30 us 30. so on us 30 we can easily see that here we've been moving with this type of consolidation uh, for quite some time and where we are can confirm and say you know what let's get out of this i think this area is going to be a potential resistant at the moment this is going to be our potential resistant obviously let's see let's see let's see let's clear this i think this area is going to be a potential resistant and maybe the market might just move like that before going up why because we can see the market did create quite similar moves here it was not really exactly the way like here but yes that is something that we can consider going even higher the market never even reversed the market was just going up but if you still remember very nice i was talking about us state even yesterday trying to catch up with nasdaq the market has been consolidating but we know very well that it will try to catch up with what nasdaq did or us tech or us 100 because it's been flying nasdaq has been way 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 higher and us state has been relaxing but we now see that you know what the market will be trying to reach those levels yes we can have maybe some reversals but uh, around this level let me take out that we already smashed that so for those who wants to be part of the team and smash let me know let me know you can get some discounts there let me know just what uh, scan that qr code or whatsapp me check my description you will find my link uh, to my whatsapp then we can talk there so now here this is what i'm expecting i'm expecting a very nice reversal uh, or let's say this is now a potential resistant if the market breaks out of that we'll be expecting to look for a nice buy or maybe the market will try to create this arranging structure and we can still smash that you see but what i know is the market won't just create this simple moves for us so yeah now we are on 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 nasdaq nasdaq 100 what's happening so the time us 30 was pushing higher or it was pushing higher nasdaq was just relaxing and uh, nasdaq it was relaxing but today it seems to be reversing but the overall structure it is still a very nice uptrend do you see that so where we are i can just go closer and see or try to show you we already sorry we already have a nice buy pending order i'm expecting to see the market reversing i think our pending order is a little bit higher it should be very very close so I'm expecting to see the market reversing uh, around that because this is our previous uh, resistant. So now it's a potential support or maybe the market might even break out and reach this support area that we had for a quite long. That can, can also happen. So anything is possible. I think this is going to be an obvious uh, trade if it reverses where we are at the moment. So I will be expecting to see a very nice push to the upside i hope that makes sense so let's push to the next one please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends yeah smp 500 what's happening on smp smp is still on that nice bullish move 
we can see that we've been going up for quite some time and now the market created a nice a sort of reversal there or a nice resistance we dismissed this one the time it was going up but now it reached an area that we can now say yeah that is a potential resistance now we're waiting for the market to reach this support area before we see a nice reversal and the market is actually on the overbought side so there is a chance that the market can even reach this support area before even going higher i hope that makes sense so let's push to the next one which is dollar not dollar german german 30 german 40 so german 40 has been cra making some crazy moves around this level so we need to be extra careful we are coming from a very nice structure which it was a very nice uh, downtrend structure the market broke out now the market seems to be coming back retesting it seems like the market is trying to create something like that we'll have to make sure that we see that nicely because after that breakout we expect to see the market pushing to the upside i think this can be a very nice trade uh, if we have something like this this can be a very nice one that can be a very nice trade so we'll have to check that out and make sure that we don't miss this trade you see so i think i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna miss that i will just send that after doing this video so now what's really happening on us oil us oil has been playing games around the same levels you can see that the market has been going down let me remove this so i'm not we are not really in a negative uh, we are not really in a negative you can see that the market was going down previously now we back on this breakout so i'm expecting to see the market going even higher we had a nice buy pending order because this was a sort of a support area so i'm expecting to see a nice push to the upside on your s oil so thank you very much this is kenzo extra hot forex don't forget to smash that subscribe button for those who wants to be part of the team and uh, there it's our um uh, vip signals packages if you want to learn if you want mentorship it's actually 350 dollars we have some discounts just talk to me whatsapp me then i will let you know thank you very much i'll see you on the next one bye